A tile backsplash is one of the best places for a kitchen update. It creates an instant focal point and adds timeless beauty in addition to functionality in your home. The following steps will take you through the correct installation of a new tile backsplash. Here's what you'll need. The size of your kitchen backsplash area determines how much tile is needed. Accurate measurements will keep costs and waste to a minimum. Measure the width and height of the area and multiply that to get the square footage. Don't forget to add 10% to the measurement for a safety margin. Add the sums of each section to get the total square footage of tile needed for the project. Before starting any work, clear off the countertop and move the stove away from the wall so you can easily access behind it. Cover the countertop and the underside of the cabinets to protect those surfaces while working. And don't forget to shut the power off to the area. Use a hammer and a chisel to chip out all the tile. For the most durable tiling results and to protect your surface from moisture, be sure to remove your drywall. Push the appropriately sized backer board into place. Then make sure the thickness is the same as the kitchen drywall for a smooth transition. Attach each panel to the studs with 1 and 1 4 inch backer board screws. Leave a 1 8 inch gap between each of the panels and seal the gaps with silicone tile caulk. Affix fiberglass mesh tape to all seams and corners. Apply mortar over the tape. Find the center of the backsplash area and mark it with the vertical line. Starting at the center point, dry lay the tile. Work your way outward. A straight edge or level helps keep the tile even. And shift the row as needed to make sure the tile's pattern is laid out to ensure small tiles are not cut on the edges. Some tiles may need to be cut to fit around outlets or switches and to properly fill the backsplash area. A tile cutter can be used for porcelain or ceramic tile. Powdered thin set will need to be mixed with water. The packaging will list the specific amounts needed, so grab a bucket and fill with the appropriate amount of water. Gradually add the powder, mixing it thoroughly. Let the mixture stand for five to 10 minutes, then mix it again without adding more water. Mix until it is the consistency of peanut butter. You have a limited amount of time to use it before it begins to set. Working in two foot sections, hold the side of the trowel at a 45 degree angle and spread a thin layer of mortar to the wall. Then using the notched edge, comb even ridges in one direction of the mortar. Place plastic tile spacers on the ledger board and countertop. This will create a gap so the tiles won't sit directly on the countertop. Then align the first tile with your center line directly over the spacers. Gently wiggle the tile into the thin set to collapse the ridges and help the tile settle into place. Use a grout float to flatten the tile if necessary. Continue laying in the remaining tiles using spacers between the rows and columns to hold them in position. Finish your backsplash off with trim, that matches your tile. In the gap under the cabinets, use caulk to fill the gap. Allow 24 hours for the mortar and tile to dry completely. Grout is available in sanded and unsanded versions. Sanded grout is great for joints 1 8 inch or greater. For smaller joints, use unsanded grout. First, wipe the tiles clean with water and remove all the spacers. Then, Fill a bucket with the appropriate amount of water and gradually add the grout powder, mixed thoroughly. 
Let the mixture stand for five to 10 minutes, then remix it without adding additional water. Once the grout is mixed, there's a limited amount of time to use it. Work in sections so you don't run out of time. Working diagonally, apply the grout on the tile with the float held at a 45 degree angle. Wipe off any excess with the float held at a 90 degree angle. Using a damp sponge, wipe the grout from the face of the tiles in a circular motion and shape the grout joints fully. Rinse the sponge in clean water frequently. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the right dry time. Use a haze remover and a dampened cheesecloth or sponge to remove the remaining haze from the tiles. Let the grout dry for at least 72 hours before applying a sealer. Paint on sealer and let it dry. Then add a small amount of latex caulk to the base of your backsplash where it rests against your countertop. Replace your appliances and decor. Restore the power to your electrical outlets. And the final step is to enjoy your newly updated and stylish kitchen. Good luck and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.